Here's an example of uh, this log was rotted all the way across and I'm about 80% done uh, prepping it for the reface. There was a, a tail coming out this way, two tails coming out this way that were just completely falling apart. So the first thing that I do when I assess this is I come in here and I, I kind of follow the rot, but then we kerf it vertically with the chainsaw. That's all those lines. We try to maintain a fairly flat and straight line and then we bust all those, those pieces out to get down to sound wood. As I was doing that, I got into this tail, these two tails here, and what I'm in the process of doing right now is I've taken, these tails have to be relatively structural when they're attached in here. So I actually inleted this area and I'll make a tongue and groove joint. I'll take a, the tongue on the tail, shove it in there and epoxy it, and that'll give it good strength. I'm in the process of doing that with the second area up here. So the next steps would be to replace this tail then replace this face, and then finally do the second tail. It'll all lock together and be structural again. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, we've obviously identified an area of rot right here following this check. And I like to do a little bit of exploratory chainsaw work just to kind of find the extent of that. That helps us decide what kind of repair we're gonna do following. So I'm just gonna take the chainsaw and I'm just gonna kind of follow down through this, this uh, soft punky area. So if you notice pretty early on, just a couple inches deep, I started getting into some good sound wood down here. So it kind of just gives us an idea of the depth of the rot and uh, what we're gonna think about. There's some more I could keep on going down here, but that's just kind of an example of uh, what I like to call exploratory chainsawing. <laughs> 